Alright guys, welcome along to episode 5 here on Brave and Lee's Take 2 <laughs> Seems a hotkey for OBS doesn't like overwriting farm sim So the recording didn't start And I've got no excuse because there is a little timer in the bottom corner which starts ticking It's not quite as clear as uh, XSplit That uh, the title bar right at the top all went red and it said recording This one just starts ticking but It's there on the second screen so no excuses Fucked up again. <laughs> anyway, the chances of today's job were field 13 in needs power hiring, that's the next job down there, or putting tram lines in field 10. Now, if we could time it right, I want to save 13 for an MP episode because it needs power harrowing, fertilizing, sewing. It's gonna be fun, it's gonna be a good one. It needs all the little bits, it's gonna be sugar beet. And see, that's a little field. Wait till we get the big ones of the sugar beets. Mm, it's gonna suck but hopefully we can get a big harvester in I don't know when the Homer DLC is coming I know it's not yet so that's not happening which is a shame but maybe we can have a play with that Roper Tiger I know the guys really really like that so we shall see but that was back in 13 I don't know what the 15 one's like I guess we'll find out so we're gonna come and we're gonna put tram lines there I don't know if you guys have seen how I do this so I'm going to show you. But on another note, while we're bouncing over these ruts, I have seen pictures of what Enzo has been doing to the map. Oh, it looks good. It looks very good. I'm excited. <sighs> yes, the ruts are gone. He's killed them. Which is good. It's good to see him mapping as well. Actually modding. He's not completely given up the ghost just yet, even after the hard drive failure which really really sucked so it's good he's in there it's good he's playing with maps and it bodes well for me to start nagging him about Oldfield Farm <laughs> well anyway on about Oldfield Farm I do actually have the version as we left it so I'm very tempted well I am actually going to do the occasional episode over there because I want to go play with the mods as we have them right we are going to have to be an outside dernal view for this uh, 19 meters, yeah, we're looking good. We're looking good. I think that is slightly off. Can we get up here? Yes. Set it. It is luck, isn't it? Isn't it? No, it's not. It'll do. It'll do. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, hit the magic button. Hit that magic button. And drop her down. And we're going to rip this field a new one. And this is how we go about putting tram lines in. So this episode is going to be me waffling and doing this. <laughs> this is where course play was beautiful. I used to go around the field once with a sprayer, so you know where the edges are without having a fiddle DPS. <sighs> Happy days. So there are other ways of doing it, but I'm very tempted to come up with some kind of marker on there, like a or is it on the cedar now bridge marker? system because this is is not realistic there is no way to make this realistic you would not go around with this putting tram lines in <laughs> it's, just, it's just a waste of seed in a perfect world we would have driving lines on cedars again and we do have a cedar that can do it but we've not got it and I didn't like how it worked so it is what it is this is how we do it please let go thank you further out we can maybe see a bit clearer where we need to be <laughs> obviously it's not perfect but it's the best we've got I'm just hoping I'm not too far out here it's going to miss the edge and we might be uh, can we rotate it yes we can so we'll see where we are when that intersects us on the edge of the field and you notice I tucked it in there. <laughs> it's acceptable. It's doable. It'll work. But yeah, Oldfield Farm. The work ends did on it. He got put hours into it. 
he got all the roads redone uh, moved them around as well to make them perfect and he's not happy with some of the objects I've been using they're not well optimized so I can't do any more work on that map until he's got it back to where he had it basically whether he will or not is another question we shall see because the thing about that is the way I'm playing it I don't want it MP it will come on server eventually for testing purposes but it's kind of mine I enjoy playing it just me we'll see see where it goes I liked how the map was evolving and how it was going so it's not dead whether it comes out in 15 or whether we go back to it in 17 time will tell but I'm not finished with that map okay, this field it looks so small on the PDA when <laughs> you get into it <laughs> This is another reason I liked Oldfield Farm. The fields were managed, you got stuck into them, you got them done, you felt good about it, there was no grind. This fields, it's an MP map. I think that's the best way of saying it. This is an MP map, Oldfield Farm a single player. You could do Oldfield Farm on your own and thoroughly enjoy it. You didn't, I didn't get bored. Hmm. Uh, the map needed to be advanced. That's what was getting to me about it. I wasn't so much bored of it as it just it needed to be moved along. Right, now this is where it's going to get fun. So we need to go up there. So, I've at it. Let's see where we end up with this. We're seven minutes in. And I've just done the headland. <laughs> I was pondering before whether you'd actually do the headlands first on this, but you wouldn't actually do this in real life. The tram lines would already be in, or you'd put them in with the sprayer. As you were going over there, the wheels would just kill the crop that was growing up. Again, it's a waste of seed. But I'd love to know some figures on actually how much you lose. Because there's got to be some crossovers somewhere. I suppose the end result's worth it. I reckon I've got this subsoil working perfect. It's leaving decent tram lines. Well, we'll see how the field grows up. But the fields do look cool with tram lines in. <laughs> they look very cool. Uh, what we're going to do here then is we're going to knock it off. We're going to follow the line and we're going to lift. There we go. I get it? I got it. Nice. Oh, I dropped a gear. Ah, should be in six. Yes? No, not seventh. Yeah, get them revs up. That's better. That's where we get the ponies down. Yeah, that's the one. Hopefully it won't rock it off this time when we get to the end and lift. But this next one we're going to have to do a loop around the centre island. <laughs> What's that, uh, daffodil seed? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Random, <there's another> one. <laughs> Random thing to see when you zoom this far up. <laughs> Uh, people have been asking about the seasons mod again. Uh, at the minute, all it does is literally put mid spring and the rest up in the top corner. No more. Uh, the idea with the mod in the end was to control the weather, basically. And have it build in and work wonders. Right, limit what you can do. Well, I suppose. It, it kind of works just as it is, really. It would be nice to change the weather though. Have it in crap weather in winter and sunny in summer and spring. But 
we'll see. So I do not know how to do what I want to do with it. I don't think anybody does actually, apart from giants themselves. Oh, we are far too close. See, the reason why we've got to put the gap in is because of the boom on the sprayer. So I think I took the collisions off on the ones we're using now. I can't imagine people are going to be happy with 19 metres for long. Joins of an MP server. <laughs> it's a democracy, everybody gets a vote. And these fields would easily warrant the 40 metres. I think we're 40 metres, let's just go check. Standard stuff. Oh, that's only 24. Okay. What am I thinking of then? Am I thinking of the uh, Pantera that got released? I know I've got the Knight on here, but that's knocked down as well. I took sections out of it to make it work on Aldridge. It must be the Pantera then that does the 40 metres. Well that's the giant spot itself so we can easily get that one. The problem then though is going to be spinning once the field's up and running. I presume we don't have to spin before you can put the crops in because you wouldn't be able to tram line at them. As soon as you'd seeded it you have to use the sprayer. Which works unless the moisture is really high. It's pretty low at the minute. Hmm. We'll be alright. Number to ten. <laughs> Suppose what, yeah, what we could have done then was gone straight south, maybe. Well, this will work. The thing about tram lines is if you get them right, there's only one way you can go. You go in the field, follow it all the way around and drive straight out the end. Voila. That's my understanding of them anyway, aside from the headland. So at some point you need to run out and you need to get back to the edge of the field and refill. Or go back to the farm, depending on how you run it. shot that one. Too much arc, not enough farm sim. It's bad juju. Yeah, this film's gonna look so cool when it's grown up. I'm just hopeful that Everybody's got the drive control turned off with crop destruction. It could get messy. The tram lines will end up being roads. <laughs> Did we get it right this time? Better. Still turning too late. See now this bit would have been better going lengthways maybe. Hmm. Now we've got the situation where well, I suppose we could. Alright, let me think about this. There's only one more towards the end, isn't there? Yes. So what we could do there then is go the other way. Alright, alright, I've got this. We can make this work. Turn earlier. Full lot, that's better. That's a lot better. Down there. Yep, they're definitely overlapping. Nice.
and then we just zigzag back down that way. Cool. Yeah, I think we've got this, guys. Nice one. Where are we? 15 minutes in. That's not actually taking so long. Another thing I can tick off the list. And the next bit of work we have to do is just down in field 13. See how we're keen people are on recultivating cultivated land. <laughs> With the impression of playing realistic. It would be so cool if Giants did that next time round. I really, really am gutted that people didn't vote for extra tillage work. Like subsoilers doing something different to the soil than discs. And tines, everything has a different effect on the soil, that would have been so nice. Different implements would have actually had a use, rather than just looking different. But, it is what it is. <coughs> people voted to buy barns. <sighs> but you get your deep tines on the cultivator. It's like I was doing an oilfield farm. We had the deep cultivation, the shallow cultivation discs, power arrows, subsoil like we're using here, but actually using it for subsoiling, compaction. Everything stack up to get a different yield. Oh, that would be intense. It really would be, but I reckon it would be so cool. And technically, the way that uh, Deck has got this mapped out for soil mod, I reckon it is possible. The only problem is I'd like to see a different texture per implement so you knew what you were doing. I'm not sure if people have figured out how to do that. Hmm. Because you think it's all hard coded into the game, if you plough it, it comes up like this. If you cultivate it, it comes up like that. I suppose we could put another. Uh, layer down though, like he's got the blue speckles here for MPK. Hmm, that's definitely doable. Ooh. I feel a mod coming on. Extreme tillage. You just have to label whatever the cultivator was and have it check against it. Oh, this would work. This would work. Hmm. And that couldn't have worked out any better. <laughs> Putting tram lines in the field. That's perfect. 19 metres for the win. Have it. <laughs> well, and then all you do, finished up, drive out the field. We're good. Turn that off, get back in the cab. Oh no, we're not done yet. We've not uh, actually driven out. So I'll have to drop it again. Right about there. She's in. That's just been abandoned. <laughs> yeah, we'll make our way home. Happy days. Can we knock off our there we go. Knock it off. for a gain of one mile an hour. So really, is that probably too fast for coming down these ruts? I'm not feeling particularly shook around. The camera mod would let me know. We don't know if it's coming, I'm the only person on the server. <laughs> Well, you can see from the real time on what time it is. That is not just afternoon. This is a 24-hour clock. 
it is quarter to two in the morning and I'm still recording the video I've still got well, I've yet to render it up which is a beautiful experience using shortcut just thought I'd put that out there <laughs> thoroughly enjoying that program but yeah it still takes time but I'm bloody enjoying that this I'm enjoying making the videos again I'm not having to fight or wait there's nothing that's pissing me off about it there's no complications it all just works so there's that one little incident at the start of this one when I hit the sh keyboard shortcut to start OBS and it didn't start and I didn't notice so that could be an issue but it's not that much of an issue because Audacity doesn't have it's, I think it's a global shortcut that's the way of describing it you can be looking at another screen have another screen highlighted hit the shortcut and away it goes but Audacity doesn't work like that unless there's a plug-in for it you have to have the window selected then press the key so I'm not going to really miss anything having to do that with OBS as well it's not crippling I do miss having the front hydraulic on this though. It's the only downside about this tractor. I wonder. Could we get one? Should I put a front hydraulic on the 8400? And I can have my weight. <laughs> That'll be a fun little mod. No. No. Fast track, focus. It is time. The fast track needs to be a thing. But how long would it really take to put a front hydraulic on? <laughs> and I do have the 7810 already geared up, so I could just go and nick it off that. To a point. <laughs> So the weight box got to go, that's got to go, it's an aftermarket kit, that's built in, hmm, that's the same tractor, hello, no, that's built in, quite extensively, the fence, that's built in, Hmm, it's not bored well. I think we've got one more, there's a dikes around the corner. Ah, that's not built in. That's stuck to the front. I can rip that off there. <laughs> I can take that off. No. No, 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 that's 2000, F5, 2009. This was the tractor in game. They've come on a long way. Is there anything even inside? Oh, there's bits. There, look at the back of that. And look at the back of that. <laughs> and the dice is actually a good one as well. Everything's rounded and looking sweet. How far giants have come. 17s out this year with Massey Ferguson and Fent. Uh, oh, who else is in Agco? Challenger? I think Challenger are in there and there's another one as well. Oh, it's a good looking good. What was it? Valtra. Valtras. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, if you enjoyed that one, guys, that is how we put the tram lines in the fields until further notice. I'm going to have a little bit of looking into that extreme tillage mod, see if it is possible, and if anybody's got an idea on how we could do it. That will be epic. Maybe Decker's the man to speak to because he's done all the work on the solar mod. Hmm. We shall see. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed it. We will see you all next week for some more fun. Hopefully, MP episode 13. Get the sugar beats in. Good times. Catch you later.